Hello and a very warm welcome to our YouTube channel Corrosion Control and Inspections. We will be sharing informative videos on various corrosion, inspection, welding, metallurgy, coatings and paintings as well as asset integrity related topics. Your valuable feedback will be important for us. Do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. Press bell icon to keep yourself notified about upcoming videos. In this video, you will get to know an overview about fitness for service, FFS, study or assessment. What are the codes or standards referred during FFS assessments? What damage mechanisms could be considered for evaluation in terms of fitness for service study or assessment? What are the benefits of performing an FFS assessment? What are the deliverables of an FFS assessment? Fitness for Service FFS, also referred to as Fitness for Purpose, is an assessment that is carried out using the best practice industry standards. The FFS assessment evaluates the structural integrity of an asset component to determine whether the asset component is suitable for its intended use. This assessment is also used as a rational reference for determining material structural limits to differentiate between acceptable and unacceptable material conditions for operation. FFS assessments usually require a standard list of information including original design conditions, materials of construction, and operation and maintenance history. While this information is part of standard record keeping at many facilities, it is not always readily available. There are three levels of assessment, all of which are progressive. Level 1 assessments require the least amount of data and experience level 2 assessment requires significantly more involved computations to replace the simple, conservative computations that make up the level 1 assessment. Level 3 assessment requires more detailed data and a considerable amount of operational experience on the part of the inspector. The methods and procedures specified in various American Petroleum Institutes and ASME codes are intended to supplement and augment the requirements in API 510, API 570, API 653, and other post-construction codes that reference FFS. There are numerous benefits to adding FFS assessments to an asset integrity management program. Conducting FFS assessments supports reliability of process facilities and reduces challenges related to expenditure and assessment completion time. Planning for an integrity assessment can save time collecting the data required to complete the assessment including FFS approaches as part of maintenance programs can save costs during facilities outages. Ensuring that these capabilities exist can reduce duration of shutdowns and potentially avoid unplanned shutdowns. FFS assessments identifies the main damage mechanisms based on the best approach and applicable standards, API 579, 
BS 7910, and others, these assessments also provides the current integrity of the components or assets given a current state of damage and the projected remaining life. FFS assessments allows operating the damaged component safely for a particular period of time. These assessments also offers mitigation plans to run the equipments and plants in a safe manner. These assessments also provides recommendations in terms of remedial actions. Thanks for visiting our channel. We will be sharing informative videos on various corrosion and asset integrity related topics. Your valuable feedback will be important for us. Do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. Press bell icon to keep yourself notified about upcoming videos.